Hello, my name is Maria from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson, we're going to have lessons in problem solving. And the problem I have on hand here is a multi-step word problem. It's not going to be solved just quickly and easily. Just like in real life, sometimes we have problems that take many steps and some thinking. Tile sets have been discounted by one-fifth. And now they cost $15.96. Sharon has $200 to spend. How many more towel sets can she get with the discounted price than with the normal price? Okay, maybe you want to stop and read that again, second time. And if it feels difficult, Here's one little tip, and that is, if you don't know what to do, if you don't know how to get started, or if you don't know how to actually solve the problem here that it is asking, try solve something that you can solve. For example, I can see here that I could solve how many towel sets she can get with this price and with this money. $200 to spend, and if they cost this much, I could calculate how many towel sets she can get, okay? So that would be one option to get started. But I want to write a flow chart. It's like a solution path, what we need to solve and in what order. What we need to find out in the end is this how many more, okay? How many more towel sets can she get with the discounted price than with the normal price? And then I hope you can see that to solve this how many more question, we need to solve how many towel sets she can get with the discounted price and how many towel sets she can get with the normal price. Okay, we need to find those two. How many towel sets can she get with the discounted price? It's given. Okay, we can figure out how many she could get with 200. But how many could she get if it was not discounted, the normal price? That's something that we don't have all the information for, right? We need to find, therefore, the normal price, right? So starting with this flow chart, I want to find out the normal price. That would be like one step here. And then I want to find how many towel sets she can buy if it is the discounted price. And then also if it is the normal price. And then lastly, the difference of these two. Or how many more. Okay, let's get started now. We need to find the normal price. And what we're given is that the discounted price is $15.96, which is real close to $16, and then that the discount was one-fifth. Now this is now best solved using a bar model. So let me draw one here. This is for the normal price now. The normal price is this whole thing. And one-fifth of it is gonna be taken off. And then that leaves the discounted price here. So I'm going to divide this into five equal parts. Like that. And we do know the discounted price here. And it was $15.96. And you know that is so close to $16, just a few cents missing, that I think we can use $16 in uh, figuring out this problem because the problem is about how many she can buy with 200 and then the difference in those two. So, let me just use $16. We can later on figure out if it really matters, but I don't think it matters. It just is four cents more than the actual number. And this is now the normal price. So this is our unknown, so to speak, like that. Okay, can you figure out the normal price? Think of one block in the model one block here is one-fourth of that, or four dollars, 
So then this whole thing is five blocks or five times four, $20. In reality, the normal price is a little bit less than $20 because this was a little bit less than $16. And now what happens next is we figure out how many tile sets she can get with $200 if it is the discounted price or if it is the normal price. Now, with the discounted price, $16, how many can she get? She has $200. How many times does 16 fit into 200? Now that's a division problem, right? Okay, let's divide 200 by 16. 16 goes into 20 just once, and into 40 two times. And 2 times 16 is 32, remainder 8. Okay, so she can get 12 sets with the discounted price. And now with the normal price, which was $20, or almost 20, how many can she get? $200, $20, that's easy. She can get 10 sets, okay? So with the discounted price, she can get 12 sets. And with the normal price, she can get 10 sets. And we can see easily the difference is two sets. She can get two sets more with the discounted price, okay? An epilogue. Did it really matter that I used $16 instead of $15.96? What do you think? Now, the difference between this and the $15.96 is only $0.04. Cents. And so, when we were figuring out how many sets she got, how many sets with the discounted price she got with $200, we got 12 sets. Could she have gotten a 13th set if I had used 1596? There's a 4 cent difference in the price per set. And so for 12 sets, the difference would be 48 cents. And so that is nowhere near enough to buy a 13th set, right? And the same happens for the normal price. The difference between the $20 and the real normal price is just so many cents. It's very little, and so it's not going to make a difference. Okay, now we are truly done with this problem.